Hey guys, and today we have a new looking at predicate and here's a little sneak peek of what it can do. It can tell you when you're looking at something uh, and it works with a lot of different rules applied to it and uh, we'll see what those rules are exactly. Uh, there are some blocks that it does let you look through and some that it doesn't let you look through. So what is this? This is basically a new predicate added to 1.17 and there will be a data pack in the description called looking at, you can download it and take a look at it. You will have to unzip it and then it will become a folder. And for some of you, it might be a folder in a folder. Uh, I only put it as such because I want the people where it doesn't, that doesn't happen. Uh, it doesn't explode all the contents. Uh, anyways, so the predicate is very simple. We have a looking at predicate and what this is is it looks if a player is looking at something that has this mbt which is the tag so if i go functions and then i go main you'll see that this is constantly running check and all check is doing is saying if there's a predicate uh, is true then you're looking at something so i went ahead and gave all these entities a tag called option so this won't work on entities that don't have the tag i only do so because uh, it'll be important later uh, but if you just want to check if a player is looking at an entity without any kind of care of what that entity is, oh, I did not mean to hurt you, buddy, uh, without any care of what that entity is, then you can just use the looking at tag as so with no MBT added to it. But the MBT is important because you probably won't care what type of entity it is or, or more specifically, uh, some entities of that type you want to check and some you don't. Uh, so you can probably easily apply this to some kind of a UI menu. I could put an invisible, uh, any entity I want, give that invisible, any entity I want a tag and have a special predicate looking for that special tag. And when that special tag and that special predicate are true, then that means you are looking at that specific button. So what you can do is you can make, uh, and, it, and honestly, like that is what I suggest doing. Uh, you make a predicate for each of your different things that a player could be looking at, all of your hover over event type entities in your menu or whatever. Uh, and then that predicate will trigger uh, a command. It'll be, you'll check the predicate and run a command. Uh, now, if you are trying to use this for some kind of a ray cast, or you're trying to use this for, I look at something and something happens to the thing I'm looking at, and you don't want to use ray casting, you want to use this. Now, I still suggest if you're making a shooty shooty thingy, uh, then you use ray casting because, of course, you want to check. Usually, you want to check everything along the path and maybe even put some particles along the path. Um, but this could be used in conjunction with it to make that shooty shooty thing more efficient uh, because uh, you can make it just play the particles, the physical ray cast, and then use this as kind of a. Um, virtual ray cast uh, to pick what you're going to hit. So you can do less calculations along the way. You don't have to care about what blocks you're interacting with along the ray cast, except for just the, uh, uh, I guess you still do need to care in terms of figuring out what particles to place. So it doesn't really replace things in that uh, arena, but in terms of like detecting when you're looking at something and turning it into something else or making a creeper explode when you look at it or things like that, uh, this can be very, very useful. So let's go over something more complicated, and that is who am I looking at? Okay, so I have this set of functions here that's commented out, and you can comment it back in. And now it actually knows that I'm looking at the villager, I'm looking at the enderman, I'm looking at the pig, and now I'm looking at the bee. And uh, I didn't mention this, but they have their own intrinsic rules, which you cannot change in terms of what is a block and what isn't a block. So uh, this uh, double tall grass isn't a block and there might be a block tag that has that affects what it chooses in this looking at but I haven't looked into that so you can take a look into that to see if you can figure find some kind of block tag but at the very least it's a, at the very least it is a hard set of rules that they've already created so this door is considered a full block but this double tall grass is not considered a block that uh, that counts so you will be able to see them and i'm pretty sure the logic is very similar to whatever logic is applied to enderman to see if a player is looking at an enderman uh anyways that aside how do we determine exactly what is looking at you okay so this is how we do it it's a very kind of it's kind of expensive but it's probably less expensive than a raycast uh to do the same thing 
So what we do is we give the player a tag of this, so we remember the player and we can reference them later, and we remove the tag after we're done with this calculation. So this tag is only applied to one player at one time because this function is run as at A, so it'll do all of these sub-functions for each player separately. So that's how it's multiplayer friendly. Uh, so then we go to all of the options. So that's just things that it could be, and my naming is not very good here. I admit that. And we run this function. So we go to everything that you could be looking at and we run this function. And you can also limit this to uh, distance equals like a limited distance here or whatever you want. You can add some kind of discriminator. Uh, so then this gives a tag to that entity, which is important called filter. And it removes the tag afterwards. All that tag is used for is it makes a more specific predicate. So this predicate doesn't look for somebody with a tag of options, but it looks for somebody with a tag of filter. So the way this works is the tag is added and removed, and this is done for every entity that has a tag of options. So what this will essentially do is just um, apply the tag, check if you're looking at that entity, remove the tag, uh, and then go to the next entity, add the tag, check if you're looking at that entity, remove the tag, and keep doing that. So you go back to the player, so as the player, Check if you're looking at the filtered entity, the current entity that you're kind of, you know, checking. Because you have to go to each of the endpoints and see if the if it is the one that you're looking at. Uh, and then run the say command if that is the, the correct one. Uh, and that's just how it works. So you can download this pack and take a look at it, uh, play around with it. It's not perfect. I admit that it's uh, done kind of hastily. I'm going on a vacation thing for a week and a half. So I wanted to get a video out for you guys uh, to tie you over in the meantime. And I thought this was a really cool thing that they added to the game seeing as 1.17 is almost released. Uh, now, on a side note, I'll also include in the description a link to a pack from uh, Disco, uh, Disco Hunt, or Disco Hunt, uh, and I'll just link the download from what was uh, what he linked in the Discord, uh, but if, if, you, if he has a preferred link, I can change it. But what his function does is very similar um, except you run f you run the function find and you give the tag of uh, find looking dot candidate I believe yeah find looking dot candidate to any entity that you want to uh, that could be something you're looking at uh, and he does a little bit more complicated stuff uh, with his iterations and his filters which I I think he also adds some extra logic to pick like the closest one you're looking at because uh, it might be some problems if you like maybe if you look at two at the same time maybe I don't know he had some he had some extra logic in there that is probably better than what I had set up and maybe it's more efficient I don't know but uh, you can be the judge of that anyways that's it for today guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace